the enigma of Gog and Magog in folklore and oral traditions. Welcome to our channel. Get ready to unravel the enigma of Gog and Magog in folklore and oral traditions. If you're intrigued by myth, mystery, and the threads that connect cultures, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more fascinating explorations like this. Let's start the video. Throughout history, cultures around the world have woven intricate tapestries of myths, legends, and oral traditions that reflect their beliefs, fears, and values. Among these stories, the enigmatic figures of Gog and Magog stand out as enduring and mysterious symbols, transcending geographical and religious boundaries. In this exploration, we delve into the captivating realm of folklore and oral traditions to unravel the enigma of Gog and Magog, tracing their origins, evolution, and significance across different cultures. Gog and Magog are two mysterious figures who appear in the Bible, the Quran, and other religious texts. They are often described as a barbarian horde or a race of giants who will attack Israel or the world in the end times. However, the exact identity of Gog and Magog is unknown, and their origins are shrouded in mystery. There are many different interpretations of Gog and Magog in folklore and oral traditions. Some people believe that they are real people or creatures, while others believe that they are symbolic figures. Some people believe that they are a threat to humanity, while others believe that they are a force for good. One of the earliest mentions of Gog and Magog is in the book of Ezekiel in the Bible. In this book, Gog is described as a prince of Rush, Meshech, and Tubal, which are ancient regions in the Middle East. Magog is not mentioned by name in this passage, but it is generally thought to be the same region as Rush, Meshech, and Tubal. Ezekiel prophesied that Gog would lead an army against Israel in the end times. However, God would intervene and defeat Gog and his army. This passage has been interpreted in many different ways by different people. Some people believe that it is a literal prophecy, while others believe that it is a symbolic warning about the dangers of evil. The Quran also mentions Gog and Magog. In the Quran, Gog and Magog are described as a people who will be released from a mountain by God in the end times. They will wreak havoc on the world, but they will eventually be defeated by Jesus Christ. The story of Gog and Magog has been interpreted in many different ways by different cultures. In some cultures, they are seen as a threat to humanity, while in other cultures, they are seen as a force for good. The enigma of Gog and Magog continues to fascinate people today, and their story continues to be told and retold in folklore and oral traditions. In medieval Europe, Gog and Magog were often depicted as giants or monsters. They were often seen as a threat to Christendom, and they were often used as a way to warn people about the dangers of sin and heresy. In Russia, Gog and Magog are often seen as a symbol of the Mongol invasion. The Mongols were seen as a barbarian horde, and they were often compared to Gog and Magog in Russian folklore. In China, Gog and Magog are often seen as a symbol of the Huns. The Huns were seen as a threat to China, and they were often compared to Gog and Magog in Chinese folklore. In Japan, Gog and Magog are often seen as a symbol of the Mongols. The Mongols were seen as a threat to Japan, and they were often compared to Gog and Magog in Japanese folklore. The story of Gog and Magog has also been used in modern times. For example, the Nazis used the story of Gog and Magog to justify their persecution of Jews. They believed that the Jews were Gog and Magog, and they were determined to destroy them. The enigma of Gog and Magog continues to fascinate people today. They are often seen as a symbol of the forces of evil, and they are often used to warn people about the dangers of chaos and destruction. However, they can also be seen as a symbol of hope. The story of Gog and Magog often ends with their defeat, which can be seen as a message that even the most powerful forces of evil can be overcome. Here are some additional thoughts on the enigma of Gog and Magog in folklore and oral traditions. The enigma of Gog and Magog is a reminder that the forces of evil are always present in the world. However, it is also a reminder that these forces can be overcome by the forces of good. The enigma of Gog and Magog is a reminder that we must always be vigilant against the forces of evil. We must never take our safety for granted, and we must always be prepared to fight for what is good. The enigma of Gog and Magog is a reminder that hope is always present, even in the darkest of times. We must never give up hope, even when things seem hopeless. The enigma of Gog and Magog can be seen as a reflection of the human fear of the unknown. The fact that their origins are unknown and their identity is shrouded in mystery makes them even more terrifying. The enigma of Gog and Magog can also be seen as a way of coping with the fear of chaos and destruction. The story of their defeat can be seen as a way of reassuring people that even the most powerful forces of evil can be overcome. The enigma of Gog and Magog can also be seen as a way of promoting hope and resilience. 
The fact that they are always defeated in the end can be seen as a message that even in the darkest of times, there is always hope for a better future. The enigma of Gog and Magog is a complex and fascinating one. It is a story that has been told and retold for centuries, and it continues to resonate with people today. It is a story that reminds us of the power of good and evil, and it is a story that gives us hope for the future. Conclusion Gog and Magog's journey through folklore and oral traditions is a testament to the timeless nature of human storytelling. As these figures continue to thrive in the narratives of cultures worldwide, they remind us of the intricate connections between the seen and the unseen, the known and the mysterious. The enigma of Gog and Magog serves as an invitation to explore the depths of human imagination, connecting us to our shared history and the timeless quest for meaning in a world filled with wonder and uncertainty. Thanks for watching.